Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Green Lambkins Vlogmas 2023. Got myself a little cuppa so we can sit and have a chat. My name's Suzanne and I live in Chesterfield in Derbyshire. I'm an indie dyer, a knitter and a crocheter and I make vlogs about Christmassy things, Halloweeny things, uh, daily life, even the boring stuff. So welcome if it's your first time joining me and welcome back if you're a long-term viewer. So I'm sitting in Advent Corner. If you've uh, watched my Vlogmas before, you'll know that I like to set up Advents on a little table here. This table usually sits in my front room where the Christmas tree is just there. But because the tree's there, I've mo I move it through here. I've got a nice Christmassy tablecloth on it, but I don't think you can see that. And I've got three Advents this year, so I do swaps haven't bought any of these these have been sent to me and i have sent them in return to the same people so the first one that's this box here and then also this basket that's from my best friend paula we swap every um year so there's yarn in this bit and then this basket has parcels that are to be opened on every saturday of advent so the first one is the second of december so that's uh, that's for tomorrow the one in this bag, I'm sorry, I've got to take my shawl off. Too hot. <sighs> Pop it on the piano. The one in this lovely bag here is from my lovely friend um, Davina, who's Fairy Steps 82, Fairy Glade 82, sorry, on Instagram. So you may have seen her post or comment on my on my posts and things. And then the one in this basket is from the lovely Rachel of So Ray Me. We've done a swap this year. I'm not sure you can see it that well, actually. And I've got baskets that have got. Christmas sweeties and jingle bells and then this basket oh this is a really sweet oh god that's so heavy oh this is a really cute one look it's got a house a glittery Christmas house and then it's got this this little wooden heart on it which glittery as well so I like it to feel festive so I thought you might like to join me I shall be opening these Advents every day. So I thought we'll start off here in Advent Corner. 
Right, what shall I start with first? I'll do Paula's first. So, <sighs> number one's in the top left corner, which is handy. I'm going to try really hard not to tear this because it's so pretty. It upsets me when I tear them. I like them to remain nice and neat if I can. Ooh. Ooh. So I've got two minis and I know who these are from. <laughs> Straight away, I know. These are from Cuddle Bums. Probably not going to be able to show them to you very well here, but these are Cuddle Bums yarns. So I've got a zebra mini and a normal mini. Beautiful. And then here's a lovely little, ah, oh, a lovely little shiny. And it's got a tiny little tree hook on it. That's so cute. And then oh, my favourite flavour of Quality Street. This is the dark chocolate orange cream. You know what I'm going to be doing as soon as I stop recording. So thank you very much, Paula. That's lovely. Right, let's do work forwards. Let's do Davina. So Davina sent this parcel and it says, you can see that's got a lovely robin on it. To be opened on day one in conjunction with fabric day one. So this is a fabric advent, I should have said. Paula's is a yarn advent. Davina's is a, a fabric advent. And then Rachel and I decided to do general lovely bits. No yarn or anything. I'm sure there'll be some crafty bits in there. But um, yeah, not yarn, not fabric or anything in particular, just little bits and bobs. So let's open this from Davina. I hate tearing paper. It's such lovely paper as well. Right, let's have a look. She says she's got a, a new idea that she's trialling on me, so it's very exciting. You don't break, whatever you are. There we go. More paper. Ooh. Ooh. If you can hear banging about, that's the child who's just been told to be quiet. Ivy's got an inset day from school today, so she's upstairs. Banging as much as she can directly above me. What's this? <gasps> oh my word. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's wooden. It's a wooden tree and it's got little tacks in it and it's got a lovely bit of sparkly ribbon and then it's covered in red felt on the back what can it be what can it be right let's find out let's open day one fabric put that there for a minute I haven't got them in order but it just so happens that day one's at the front and she packaged hers in this lovely little gnome bags with cute little heart labels aren't they beautiful Oh, now next door I've started banging. Now we aren't doing just Christmas fabrics. There might be some Christmas fabric. Oh, there's something else in here as well. Oh, that's beautiful. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh my word. I think I know what I've got to do. Look at this. It's beautiful, beautiful stitch marker. It's got one of those lovely twisted rings on it. I keep meaning to find these so I can make some stitch markers with these on. It's a beautiful bell. I think I know what I've got to do. Davina, has this got to go on here? Yeah, I'm sure it has. <laughs> oh my word. So does that mean that there's going to be something to hang on here every day? Right, I've got to find somewhere. I know, I think I know where I can put this, but I'll have a little think. I need to make sure it's in a good position. Oh my word, that's so beautiful. And then I've got, oh, look at this. So every day we're sending each other a little piece of fabric. Well, I think we gave ourselves a minimum of 10 inch square. So this is wintery rather than Christmas in. It's got one of Davina's favorite things in the world on it, which is leaping hairs. But that could go in my Christmas quilt. It really could. I think I might do that. I think I might put that in my Christmas one because it is so wintery. Oh, and it has got a little, 
don't know whether are they seed what do we think seed pods or baubles i think that's down to interpretation really isn't it excellent thank you davina that's gorgeous and finally now if you watch uh, rachel of so Raimi's vlogs I think it was her last vlog that she made where she was making, she was showing that she was hand making tags for an advent and I think they were for me. Look how beautiful they are. So that's number one. I'll show you the tag every day. But she hand stamped all of these because she's got all this lovely craft stuff and she's really into um, journaling. I think. So look at day 17, it's got the little number and then it's got this little musical paper pennant behind it oh it's so beautiful i love it so much and each one wrapped in a different a different type of paper or a different little bag this one's got hand printed honestly i almost cried when i opened this yesterday because the, the attention to detail and the presentation is so lovely but stop rattling suzanne i think i'm gonna have to keep these numbers because they're too adorable Right, undo that carefully. Such a pretty ribbon as well. Put that there. Don't want to get it in my coffee. Lovely paper. I think I might have had some of this paper. And she's wrapped it, she's done it all with um, paper tape as well. I need to get some more of that. I have got a bit, but I'm gonna have a have a look in the shops before I start wrapping any more presents because I really like that. I bought some from Paper Chase a couple of years ago. No, three years ago now. Oh no. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. Look. Oh my word. It's so sweet. Lovely little snowman. Project bag with, oh, and it's a drawstring one, which I love. And it's got a hook on it. I can put a charm or a handle on it. And there's something inside here. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I know exactly what this is. This is a bundle of Christmas fabrics. So I can put these into my quilt as well. <laughs> All scraps, look. Oh my goodness, so many of them. So many lovely fabrics. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh gosh, so many pretty patterns. I'm not even showing you, I'm so excited. Look at all that. Some of them can go in my quilt. Some of them I can make other special things with. Oh, I'm thrilled to be, oh, Rachel. Now, um, you'll have seen that I'm knitting a sock and I am knitting as fast as I can on that sock to try and get it finished because I want to cast on a new sock for Advent. Um, and I'd like to try and do that. I'm not sure I'll get to it tonight. I think it'll be, finishing this sock i've got two stripes left to do and then the heel and toe so if i can get them done today then i can start my new sock tomorrow which is going to be the um west yorkshire spinners nutcracker sock yarn i bought that some months ago all in readiness it's got that. so Raimi. and the reason i'm telling you is that that is that i can put that into this new beautiful project bag with the red cord and I've got a snowman bag charm well I've got snowman bag charms in my shop so I'll show you one later and I think I might attach that to this because everyone knows I love a theme I love things to be matchy matchy so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to get it all ready in a little bit so thank you very much Rachel, Davina and Paula Mwah. right now <clears throat> what I've got to do today. For the next three days, it's going to be pretty monotonous <laughs> here because um, on Sunday I am vending at Nibbles, Needles and Hooks afternoon tea, which is an event that is run monthly by my lovely friend Liz, who um, owns the Nibbles, Needles and Hooks um, yarn shop and cafe, which is in um, a village outside Chesterfield. She also runs an afternoon tea which happens at the beginning of each month 
usually I think and it's at Renishaw Hall which is a local stately home to us they have a lovely cafe and function room and Liz hires that function room and she does a knitters and crocheters afternoon tea um, and then she has one indie dyer vending there each month so I was lucky enough to do it in um, springtime I can't remember whether it was March or April I think it might have been March and then she asked me to do it again for December which I was absolutely thrilled about because in the words of Franny Do Makes I absolutely love making my Christmas yarns so all that to say that today and tomorrow is going to be lots of me prepping for that I've got all my Christmas yarn dyed but I need to twist it all label it all get everything organized and then on Sunday I'll take you with me and we'll get the stand set up and you can see everything that I've got for Christmas and all of the samples and things that I'm going to be taking with me so that'll be very exciting and then after that so that's what I'm sort of tunnel visioned on at the moment after that there'll be lots of other exciting Christmassy things happening so bear with while I get this sorted because I've got that's what I've got to put my energy into for the next two days three days uh Right, well, with that said, I think I'm going to get on with twisting my yarn up and I might just partake of my orange cream and put my bauble on my tree. <laughs> I think it might have to go on the Woodland Princess tree um, because it will go perfectly. I'll show you in a minute. Right, I will talk to you all later. rather a lot of Christmas yarn. Look at all those colours. I thought I'd show you everything that I've prepared to take with me on Sunday. So we've got new colourways, old colourways, a mixture of both. These are two new ones for this year. This is red berries. The light's not quite right. It's looking a little bit washed out and it's I think the light must be blowing out. Anyway, that's red berries and glossy leaves. These are all on the sparkle base. And next to it is holly crown, which was a new one for... Was it a new one last year or the year be before? I'm not sure. But I shared this the other day on Instagram. Somebody had ordered holly crown and glossy leaves together. Look at that combo. Absolutely brilliant. Actually, since I shared it, a couple more people have ordered it, which, you know, when you see a good thing, <laughs> you go with it, don't you? Then you've got, you've got Mrs. Santa Claus here. And she's another lovely. And she's next to fondant on the fuzzy lace. And now that also comes as um, a companion set because I've just done a simple pleasures hat, which I'll show you in a minute, um, using this and the fondant together and it makes a really nice pairing and that's that but also mrs santa claus and red berries would look really lovely you could make so many combinations out of all of these here's um candy cane forest which was one of my f oldest colorways but such a goodie that i don't think i could ever ax it that goes really nicely with these two as well. That'd make a lovely three colour shawl. And then here's another one that's been in around for a few years. That's Sugar Plum Fairy. She makes a nice um, 
micro striping sock and so does this one this is um lambkin through the snow which is another really popular one actually and then here we've got the this is a duo but obviously they don't have to go together this is all is calm and all is bright and they are sisters so this is a very pale version of this one same colors used just in two different applications and then here is one of the new colorways for this year this is um frost fairy and it's just very de delicate speckles of purples magenta and teal sorry the light's not a bit better yeah i think you get the impression very sparkling this is down in yon forest which is another old one and this is special to me because um, down in Yon Forest is um, a Derbyshire-based carol. And then here's the old OG, the uh, vintage shinies, which again I think would look really nice with glossy leaves as well. So that was the original Christmas colourway, the first I ever did. Another one that's proved very popular is Gingerbread Snowflake. And that's another micro striper. And the last one, which is the other new colourway for this year, is Jolly Holly. And that makes an interesting stripe pattern. And again, would look really nice in a three colour shawl with these three. So I'm trying to trying to give buildable options if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna get some I'm gonna pack all of these away. I've got to get some tea on the go because it's a Friday evening's busy evening for us. Both the kids have an activity. I'll pack these away. I'm going to make some cauliflower cheese and then I might just get out the various different projects that I'm planning to take as samples on Sunday and show you how some of these have been used. This is the uh, Simple Pleasures hat that I've been um, knitting. And so this is a skein of um, Mrs Santa Claus on Sparkle Sock and the uh, rib portion is knit with two ends of that held together and then the the stocking stitch portion is one end of um, Mrs Santa Claus and one end of the uh, fondant fuzzy lace which is um, sorry, sorry alpaca silk so it's lovely and squishy and soft and I ordered it's absolutely humongous <laughs> look at the size of it this is my hand for reference massive i ordered this chocolate brown pom-pom and it's a handmade pom-pom and it's so glossy look and it's really nicely made it's got this thick cord with a wooden button so that you can fasten it on well uh, so i'm going to put that on there in a bit and then this can be on display on sunday it came from two little rainbows and she sells on etsy She's also on Instagram, where it tells you how to... Little poem about how to look after it. Whilst I was on, I saw this and I thought it was amazing, so I got this one as well. Something spice this one was called, I can't really remember. Look at the colours in there. It's really pretty. So I don't know what that's going to go on yet, but it's always handy to have a couple of pom-poms in, in stock, isn't it? And you really, you could put that with lots of different things. Mm. Right, now I've got some secret wrapping to do. <laughs> See you in a bit. Hello, everybody. Ooh, it's a bit dark and spooky. I'm just at Sainsbury's car park. I'm planning to go inside Sainsbury's. I'm not just going to stay here. I'm just trying to find my lipstick, not having much luck. Um, Ivy has a drama group on a Friday tea time. Bit of a pain in the bum kind of a time to have it, really. It's 5.30 till 6.30. So, uh, yeah, just right when you want to be having tea and just right when you don't want to be going out in rush hour traffic. Anyway, uh, she's at a different location to usual this week because of can't use the usual venue for some reason or another. Bit of lippy on. 
Um, so I'm in a different bit of town. So there's no point in me going home because by the time I get my boots off, it'll be time to come back out again. So I'm just going to have a little mooch around Sainsbury's for half an hour. I need to come, needed to come here for some more tea lights anyway. I really like the Christmas spice tea lights that they do. So uh, I'm going to get some of those and see what else I can see. Um, so if I see anything nice, I'll, I'll show you as well. Come on then, let's go. Hello again everyone, <laughs> it's the me version that's just come out of the bath, um, oh, I just remembered I wanted to fetch something else out of here, I didn't even get, um, take any footage in Sainsbury's because I suddenly felt so tired I just couldn't be bothered, so uh, I didn't, <laughs> there wasn't that much to see to be fair, but I will show you what little bits and bobs I did get there tomorrow morning. But for now, I'm extremely excited to start my um, advent project. Now, it's a Dragon Hill Studio Advent Wrap 2023. Printed the pattern off and left it down on the printer downstairs. So I'll show you um, what it looks like in the morning. But I'm going to get these two little ones wound up into balls, into a ball and made. And I'm keeping them in this project bag which is quite a big one because I think it will need quite a big bag by the time it's finished. And this was made by my sister Craftmonger Law on, uh, she is Craftmonger Law on Instagram. That's not what my parents named her at birth. <laughs> uh, Laura is her name <laughs> and she made this bag. Hey, look, see, uh, I don't know if you'll read that because it's very shiny, but it does say handmade by Craftmonger Law. So I'm going to get that done. Um, and the prank, the, Notions pouch that I'm using is one that was made as part of a swap mark by my lo lovely friend Sharon, who is um, she who crafts and plans on Instagram, and it's this really sweet toadstooly fabric. In, even though it's not Christmassy, it feels festive to me. It's like a little envelope type purse with a snap fastening, and I put. Uh, it did have some other um, summery sort of progress keepers on it as a charm but I've put this one on if I can actually get it to turn the right way this is a little robin which I got from it was designed by um, Simply, Lin, Lindsay from Simply Serving but it was um, bought from Cherie's shop Ollie and Bella on Etsy now I believe Sharon has an Etsy shop where she sells lovely handmade things um, but I need to find the link for it so I'll try my very hardest to remember to link it tomorrow because I haven't found it yet. If you're interested and I forget to do it, please remind me. Uh, so anyway, whilst I was waiting for Ivy to come out of a group, I got to the toe decreases. So I'm going to do a bit more on that and hopefully I'll finish the toe and the heel tomorrow. But for now, I'm going to dig into a bit of vlogmas myself and i'm very excited about it so thank you very much for joining me for day one i'm looking forward to seeing you all again in the morning and finding out what's in the advent calendar for day two right good night everybody see you tomorrow the little mr pippin hasn't made an appearance yet today and he's just come to see hel say hello to mum so what are you doing to me blanket hey eh? you licking it uh, Auntie Paula won't be very pleased if she sees you doing that. She made that blanket. <laughs> you are a funny boy. You're enjoying yourself there. Pippin. There's a good boy. Say hello to everyone. Say night-night. See you tomorrow.